Hi everyone, Teresa here from Spoonflower. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom recipe tea towel using old handwritten recipes and Spoonflower's linen cotton canvas. For my tea towels, I'm going to be using one of my Nana's old handwritten Italian recipes. Her recipes are really special to me and my family, and this is a great way to incorporate memories of her home cooking into my daily life. And it's also a great way to preserve her handwriting. These tea towels are beautiful, functional, affordable, and they make great gifts. Let's get started. We're going to be completing this project in three simple steps. Starting with step one, which is how to scan in your recipes and format your design file in Photoshop. Step two, we'll go through how to upload that file and place your fabric order with Spoonflower. Step three, I'll show you how to finish your tea towels with a double hem. Here's what you'll need for this project. Your sewing machine, pens, a cutting mat, scissors or a rotary cutter, a ruler or a seam guide, tea towel fabric, we're using Spoonflower's Linen Cotton Canvas, which is a 55% linen, 45% cotton blend. It's thick, absorbent, and perfect for tea towels. Step one, scanning in your recipes and setting up your design file in Photoshop before uploading to Spoonflower. The very first thing to do is scan in your old recipes. You can do this at home or at a local copy shop like Kinko's if you don't have a scanner. My recipes were scanned in at 300 dpi, but if you want to scan them in at an even higher resolution, that's fine too. Now that your recipes are scanned in, the next step is to open up Photoshop or Photoshop Elements on your computer. First go to File, New, and make sure the width is 27 inches and the height is 18 inches. Resolution 150, Color Mode RGB, and then name your file something you'll be able to recognize later on. Hit OK. First you're going to name your background layer by clicking on it. Name it background. Just to keep us organized. Then we're going to go to edit, fill, and select a color. And this is going to be the accent hem that shows on the back of our tea towel. So select any color that you think is going to coordinate well with your recipe. I'm choosing this marigold kind of yellow color. So now we're going to set up some guides that will just help us make sure that we don't cut into our seam and our seam allowance when we're designing. So make sure your rulers are showing by going to view rulers. Make sure they're in inches. And then just click and drag out from your ruler to create your guide. And I'm just setting these up at one inch from the very edge of my file, which represents my seam allowance. Because again, I don't want to design, I don't want my actual recipe portion to go into this border. I want it to be a nice, solid color. Now go to File, Place Embedded, and select your recipe on your desktop. Then drag it, drop it into your document. Adjust the sizing using the Transform tool until it fits nicely within the guides. You might need to rotate it 90 degrees depending on the orientation of your recipe. And then just kind of use your nudge arrow keys to kind of fit it neatly in place within your guides. So now my tea towel fits along the length, but not the width. I want it to be a little bit wider. So to do this, because my recipe isn't the perfect dimension to begin with, I'm going to duplicate that recipe by going to Layer, Duplicate Layer, and I want to duplicate my recipe. Click OK, and then drag that copy down beneath the original so that it's underneath. Now click on that copy and drag it out so that it fills in your guides perfectly. And that's just going to allow us to cheat a little bit and fill up that entire space. But you'll notice when I did that, I duplicated that bottom line, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. First you rasterize the layer and that makes it editable. Then go over to your rectangular marquee tool and select the unwanted area. Go to edit, fill content aware, which is going to fill in our selection with sort of it, Photoshop samples the pixels around that selection and fills it in. 
and you can kind of clean it up a little bit with your eraser or your clone tool, however you want to clean up the rest of your file so that everything's nice and neat. And you can stop here if you want, or um, what we can do is merge those two layers by selecting them both, right clicking and selecting merge, and then go to image adjustment levels, and sort of play around with the levels a little bit by dragging these um, little arrows. And what this does is create more contrast, it kind of darkens the darks and lightens the lights. Now we're done, so go to file, save as, select your desktop, um, the format should be a JPEG, and hit save. Click OK. And the design part is done. So now the next step is to open up Spoonflower. So go to www.spoonflower.com. You're going to want to be sure that you're logged into your Spoonflower account for this step so that you can go back to your design later. And what that does is just save it in an archive for you, whereas if you're logged out, your work will not be saved. And that would be very sad. And the first thing we click on is Design Upload and then choose your file from the desktop that you just saved out of Photoshop. So just upload, confirm your copyright. So your file will now appear on your design page and you'll notice that it looks a little blurry in this view, but don't worry about it. Spoonflower will print based off your original file and not the low resolution preview seen here. Go over to choose a fabric and select linen cotton canvas. Then choose a fat quarter size, and you'll notice that your design fills the space perfectly because we have it at exactly the same size as a fat quarter of linen. And if you want to design more than just one, if you want more than one recipe tea towel, at this size you can get up to four recipe tea towels on a full yard. Now all that's left to do is add the fabric to your cart and complete the checkout process. Once you place your order, they'll be sent to Spoonflower's printers where they're printed on demand before they get cut down by hand and shipped out to you. So sit back and wait patiently for your tea towels to arrive. Then you'll be ready for the next step, finishing your tea towels. Once you receive your fabric in the mail from Spoonflower, you're ready to finish the tea towel off with a quick double hem. The first thing you want to do is grab a seam guide or a ruler. In our example, we have a one inch hem allowance, one inch of fabric that can be folded over to make a hem. So I fold my tea towel over half an inch and press, then fold it over again into the crease. Press again and pin. Once your hem is folded and pinned, we're ready to sew. I'm using about a 2.5 millimeter stitch length and I'm using a straight stitch on my sewing machine. So line up the edge of your tea towel so that the needle is as close to that seam as possible and then just sew a straight line close to the fold. Once you get to the edge of your tea towel and you're ready to turn the corner, Simply leave your needle inside of the fabric and lift your presser foot. Then rotate the fabric 90 degrees, keeping the needle sunk into the fabric, and put the presser foot back down. Then keep sewing. Once you get to the very end, make sure to backstitch to secure your stitches. And there you have it, your finished recipe tea towel with a nice, neat, professional looking edge. Once you see how easy this process is, I promise you're going to want to make 10 more. And for more design and sewing tutorials just like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also love to see photos of what you create, so don't forget to share with us on social media.